Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denisha and today I'm going to be sharing, you guessed it, a fabric haul. Not only am I going to show these fabrics that I picked up recently, but I'm also going to share my thoughts on the early spring patterns that the Big Five released recently. Mainly Nomi patterns, Simplicity, and McCall. Those are the three that I'm focused on and I have lots of thoughts, so let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this pile to the side so we can talk about one at a time. First up, I have this super cute faux leather. It's like crocodile, a faux black crocodile leather. I plan on using this faux leather to make a second mag bag. That is a pattern that was released by Rudy of Talia Threads last year and it's so good and i just want to make a smaller version using this faux leather from joanne okay so you can never have too many black bags then we have this ooh, this pretty knit oh my gosh i love this shade of green i love all shades of green really but this is such a cute like going into springtime green um yeah i really feel like this is this is the shade of spring transition green made that up on the spot <laughs> anyways i got this one to make a two-piece set i want some like lounge pants and i imagine it with like a mm, open front shirt like button-up shirt but minus the buttons just an open shirt with a collar short sleeves yeah i love the weight of this knit the spacing of the rib and just the overall color it's gorgeous it's like a speckled green so like speckles of black in it yeah that's it's gonna look nice <laughs> i'm just kind of throw them over to the side and keep going all right next up this baby okay it's like a washed burgundy. That's how I would describe this color. Um, absolutely love it. All the fabrics will be tagged below. I will provide you guys with links if you are interested in any of them. This is another rib knit. I love one, knit fabrics, and two, specifically, rib knit fabrics. There you go. All right, and I will be using this to make my third Roxanne dress. Yes, third Vicky Sews Roxanne dress. I have made it in a gray, the version, a gray version of this fabric, and also like a burnt orange. It's not as burnt, but a orange. So this will be my third one. And then all of these knits are the same. They're all double brush poly knits uh, from Joanne. I have this beautiful teal color. I have a navy blue. We have like a army green. And this beautiful chocolate brown. Well, I wouldn't even call it chocolate. It's more like mocha. But anyways, brown. <laughs> beautiful brown. And I plan on making bodysuits with all of these it's gonna be super soft nice on the skin and I realized that my wardrobe has a gap of bodysuits I don't have a lot and I used to wear a lot about bodysuits but um, nothing like making your own so I'm very excited to make different types of bodysuits too so I do know that I want to use um, I do know that I have plans to kind of hack two patterns together for one of these. I don't know which color I'll use, but Mimi G's dress pattern, I can't remember the number right now, but you'll see it. And merging it with Madeline's bodysuit because it's a thong closure and I prefer that instead. And Mimi's pattern is a dress. So I want the top of Mimi's pattern and the bottom of Madeline's. I'm just gonna merge those two together for a bodysuit. And lastly, when it comes to fabric, this one is a special one. 
This is actually from Melanated Fabrics. They are local here in Atlanta, Georgia, but you can also shop online, okay? The store is owned by Mimi G and Brittany Jones. And oh my gosh, they carry such amazing fabrics. This particular one I purchased because I saw Mimi post this two piece on her um, Instagram and I immediately needed it. There was another colorway that I really wanted, but it was sold out sadly. So I went with this color instead and I do have plans still to make this two piece, but um, now that I have this fabric, I've obviously had more ideas of other things I can make with it. But nonetheless, I'm still making this two piece set, whether it's this fabric or some corduroy that I already have. So let's switch gears. Let's talk about the new patterns. I wish I had them already in hand to show you guys, but they literally just released. And um, if you're like me, you like to shop the sale, and there has not been a sale neither online or in store yet since the patterns released, okay? The patterns literally shipped to stores um, during the Simplicity sale, but they didn't quite make it in time for the sale. So I'll be waiting, because I like to buy my patterns for $1.99. However, that doesn't mean we can't talk about them right now. So first thing first at the top of my list is Nomi designer Erica Bunker. I love Erica. I met her years ago at a Mimi G conference and I am so in love with her newest pattern, this blazer and pant. Y'all, I'm really obsessed with the blazer. I do love the details on the pant with the front slit. Um, However, this blazer, if you know me, then you know I love a backless moment, okay? A blazer with the back cut out, I don't even wear blazers, okay? I don't even own a blazer, but the fact that the back is out, all I'm imagining is a backless blazer dress. Please, see that with me? In linen for the spring. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Because I know I'm not gonna be the only one making that. So you're welcome. <laughs> Backless blazer dress linen. That's it. Drop, drop mic, I'm done. <laughs> Next we have Nomi 2070 Beauty Jador, AKA Nikki. Y'all, Nikki never misses, that's for sure. Nikki never misses. Uh, if you saw my coat, that I made last year, Whew. my green wool coat with the black and white lining on the inside, that was a Beauty Jador's pattern, okay? I think No Me 2001. Now she has a trench coat. Again, these ladies are putting out patterns. I don't own a trench coat. Now I want a denim trench coat. Shout out to Mimi for her denim trench and shout out to Beauty Jador for this amazing pattern. It has influenced me. And if you have a daughter, uh, there is also a kid's pattern within the same pattern, her and her daughter, okay? And you, I think, I don't know if it was 10 years ago, years ago, I don't wanna be wrong on the number, but years ago, she put out a pattern um, with her and her daughter. So this was like an ode to that, I feel like. Um, but yes, trench coat. Next up, we have Nomi 2063 by Brittany J. Jones, okay? A jumpsuit. I haven't made a jumpsuit in years. Definitely more than three, four years ago. I haven't made a jumpsuit in at least four years, for sure. And now I want that one. I love that it has a collar. I love, so listen, listen, listen. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm very excited for that jumpsuit pattern. Um, I've not wanted to make a jumpsuit in a very long time. So shout out to you, Brittany, for making me want to make a jumpsuit. And last up on the Nomi patterns list, I have 2067 by Lindsay, AKA The Stitch Fits. It is just giving summer to me. I, also spring, but it just makes me want to twirl my way into summer. I think I'm gonna add that to my summer make list because let's just be realistic that I already have an overflowing spring list 
of things I'd like to make. <laughs> so if it doesn't get made in the spring, it's perfect for the summer. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's roll right along into simplicity. Of course, I have to mention my girl Mimi G first. Simplicity 9894. It is her two-piece pattern. The skirt comes in, comes in two different lengths. I want the shorter length. Or do I? I don't know. I like both lengths, actually. <laughs> However, that top is really what got me. I love the top. I'm already imagining this two-piece set in like a denim, chambray, or even linen. I love linen, especially in the warmer seasons, but I also use linen in the fall and winter, just a heavier weight. So I'm excited. <laughs> and one other simplicity pattern, which is more of an honorable mention, is 9886. It's not so much my style, but I do feel like you can have fun with it with print mixing and color blocking. Like I could just see some of y'all making real cute versions of that. So if you do tag me, because I'd still love to see it. And last but not least, there were three McCall patterns that piqued my interest. Two of the patterns are by Brandy Joan, and they are M8446 and M8447, okay? 46 is a really cute dress. I love the gathering at the neckline. I love the high split. Literally, the high split is like, hey, Denisha, make me. Um, so I love that dress. And then the two piece set just looks super cozy and comfy. Like the type of outfit I just wanna put on, throw a coat over and go see a movie and be comfortable while doing it. You know what I'm saying? And the last McCall pattern is 8454. Listen, 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 listen. When I, <laughs> when I saw the envelope, I'm not gonna hold you. I was not crazy about the first photo, okay? View, I believe it's C? I think it's view C. That pink and white, the print dress with long sleeves. I wasn't crazy about it, I wasn't. But hear me out. Sometimes you need to look a little further, you know what I'm saying? Look at the other views, look at the line drawings. That's what got me. The details in view B, the pleats, the pockets, I'm sold, I'm sold, I'm sold. I want that dress. It's giving, is she going to play tennis, but then going out to brunch right after? I don't know, that's what it's giving me and I want it. <laughs> for that one, I would make it in either a denim, obviously I have a thing for denim, right? I'd make it in a denim, I'd make it in a linen, my two faves, or any really like twill, cotton, the possibilities are endless, okay? But I want that pattern for sure. Like, I need it, I need it, okay? It's also making me think of a um, another thing I wanna make. <laughs> Ooh, anybody else got a long to-do list and like, need more time? But anyways, a pleated skirt with a vest, I still, I still need to do that. All right, so that concludes my fabric haul and all of my thoughts on the early spring patterns. Let me know below which patterns you're gonna pick up. And until next time, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really wanna see more of me, turn on your post notifications. Until next time.